Mercedes have received shocking and quite surprising news when it comes to Mike Elliott, as the former CTO of the team has decided that his time in Formula One will come to an end after being committed to the Silver Arrows from 2012 onwards. This happens right before the last three races of the calendar, and while many believe that the departure of Elliott won't have a significant impact on the team's improvement, there is one massive threat that can always turn around to bite you in the back, which is Elliot taking his knowledge somewhere else. With Mike currently entering a gardening leave and Mercedes entering the race in which they believe their chances to win are the highest, is this something that will shake up the foundation of the Brackley Bay squad? It goes without saying that one of the most important individuals in Mercedes in the previous period was Mike Elliott for lots of different reasons. While he was the architect behind the W13 and the W14, more precisely the first version of the W14 before he was replaced by James Allison and stepped down from his role, Mike was labelled as much more than just being a particular member of Mercedes. Obviously, Toto Wolff has such high praise for his colleague and had it not been for for Mike, then the team would have experienced massive downfall in the previous era. Not that they've been booming and competing up front with Red Bull, but with Mercedes being the third and now competing for the second place in 2022 and 2023 respectively, things haven't gone that far south as the fans would like to portray. George Russell has gone to the extent of labelling Mike as one of the most, if not the most, intelligent individuals he's worked with, as he too has nothing but good words for the man who designed the car that he won the first GP with in Sao Paulo last year. Nonetheless, all good things must come to an end, and after stepping down from the role of being the technical director of the team back in April, Elliot seems to be no longer interested in doing the CTO or chief technical officer role as well, as he went on to say, it has been one of the great privileges of my career to be part of this Mercedes team. During my time, I have seen it grow from a group of people pulling together to win races, then a first championship, to winning a record eight consecutive Constructors' Championships, and I am proud to have made my contribution to that journey. Although the last two seasons have not seen us winning races in the manner we aspire to, they have tested us in many other ways and forced us to question our fundamental assumptions about how we deliver performance. During the past six months, I have enjoyed developing the technical strategy that we hope can provide the foundations of the team's next cycle of success. What seems to be the bigger issue that Elliot's departure has painted in Mercedes? Obviously, replacing him is going to be one hell of a task for the Silver Arrows, and while they do not lack the knowledge and expertise of all the engineers that are currently available from their own camp, this is definitely not what the team wanted to head into the Brazilian GP with. With only three races remaining in 2023, the situation is loud and clear. Win a race and continue the streak alive, but with the gap that Elliot has left for the the upcoming season, there's no doubt that the Silver Arrows are going to be put on a massive challenge in trying to replace one of the pillars in Mercedes, as elaborated by Wolf. The Austrian team principal understands the magnitude of this move, and while the team has finally started to move in the right direction, stuff like this is exactly what you want to avoid happening. When talking about the impact that Elliot has left on Mercedes with his departure, as well as the difficulty of replacing him, Wolf went on to say, Mike has been one of the pillars of the team's achievements over the past decade, and it's with truly mixed feelings that we say goodbye to him. Mike is a fiercely intelligent technical brain and a great team player. He has made a strong contribution, not just to winning racing cars, but also to building the culture of our team. But on the other side, it's clear that he's ready for new adventures beyond Mercedes. So I know this is the right step for him to take too. He leaves the team with our thanks for the effort, commitment and expertise he has brought to the team over the past 11 years and our very best wishes for the future. Definitely, the knowledge that Elliot was able to collect from Mercedes is not one that we should be underestimating. Quite the contrary, he should be one of the most wanted assets in the foreseeable future at Mercedes. However, 
However, the fact that he's entering into a gardening leave now means that he won't be able to offer any of that knowledge for a certain period of time, just like Mattia Binotto was not able to when he decided to leave the team principal position at Ferrari. But with the first massive shakeup of the technical regulations coming all the way in 2026, there is certainly a small gap in which Elliott might be one of the biggest additions that a team could acquire next year or 2025. And with Audi being at the project that most of the engineers and technical staff of F1 are eager to dive into, we might see fierce clashes between two German brands as sparks have already started to fly between these two sides thanks to the statements in the press conferences that have been held multiple times by Audi's CEO, Marcus Dusman. Keep that in mind that we're talking about an individual who has spent the last 23 years working in F1 without any pause or stop, as his career started way back in 2000 at McLaren as an aerodynamicist before moving to Renault from 2008 to 2012. And finally, the last destination being Mercedes. Nonetheless, at the age of 49, we can never say that this is the end of his career and Mike would definitely want to look deeper into his options and pick a project that could be made successful thanks to his input, which is one of the reasons why Mercedes should be progressing faster and use the gardening leave period to not allow Elliott's knowledge to actually have that big of an impact on the team's technical development. George Russell has labelled the importance of Mike Elliott in the team and in an older interview, the Brit went on to praise the input of Elliott in the team and the fact that him being changed into the CTO role does not actually change anything for the team. Russell said, Mike is one of, if not the most, intelligent blokes I've ever come across in my life, but I think placing him in this new role will really put him in his element. When it comes to a team sport, it's not just drivers we're managing. Well, Toto's managing 2,000 people. Or if you talk about a football team, you need to get your best players in the right positions to get the overall team result. And effectively, that's what this change has been. The situation right now for Mercedes isn't looking as sharp and good looking as they would have wanted it to. And even though Elliott was labelled to be the guilty side of designing the W13 and the initial version of the W14 to be the way they turned out to be, many people forget that he was the aerodynamicist behind Hamilton's runner-up car in McLaren back in 2007, one in which he almost won the trophy on his first try as he lost it by one point to Raikkonen in Ferrari and was able to beat the two-time world champion in Alonso on his first try, effectively forcing him out of the team. A lot is going to happen in the upcoming period, but right now we have the Brazilian GP ahead of us, and while the car has more or less finished with its upgrading process, the absence of Elliott definitely has the potential to shake up the situation at Mercedes and potentially put them in a bad upcoming period. As Russell said, there are 2,000 people that Wolf needs to manage, and the position that Elliott has just left is not one that could be fulfilled by any member of the team out there. We saw what impact Dan Fallows had on Aston Martin in the first half of the season after being at the chief of aerodynamics at Red Bull and while the move is not necessarily hurting the team it does give their rivals an opportunity to snatch a high profile member and boost their chances to win races more frequently than Mercedes. With this in mind do you think that Elliott's departure will have long term effects on Mercedes comeback mission? Let us know in the comments below.